Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, and today is Sunday, the day of Super Bowl 50, but it's also the day the early embargo lifts for Deadpool reviews. I had a chance to see this one early, um, so I'm very happy to say it is exactly what I wanted it to be. And I think any fan of like hardcore rated R action movies, hardcore rated R comedies, any fans of Ryan Reynolds, any fans of the X-Men movies who want to see a more adult take on that, will all be very pleasantly surprised by this film. I'm not even going to say surprised. This movie delivers on exactly what it should have been years ago. This is why this movie proves why 20th Century Fox should have greenlit it years ago when they had a script uh, like ready and waiting and they had director Tim Miller attached and Ryan Reynolds attached. It's In that respect, it's such an achievement um, for the superhero film genre. Uh, and I think if you see, if you if you have any interest at all in seeing this, and you know what it is, you're gonna love it. Um, it holds nothing back when it comes to violence and nudity, uh, even like the little details of the comics, like the costumes. Deadpool's costume and his weapons are perfect. Colossus is in this film. His he's got the Russian accent. His costume and size, he's all metal. Perfect. Uh, and that's kind of across the board when it comes to the cast. Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson was like the only good part of X-Men Origins Wolverine. So it, it made sense and it was very smart for them to bring him back uh, to get his own movie and to, to kind of throw away his old origin because he is he is Wade Wilson. Like Deadpool from the comics is like Ryan Reynolds. He is the real life incarnation of this character. And it's such a perfect franchise, uh, not only for him and the character, but to fit in and propel the, uh, the X-Men franchise for years to come because they need new like bankable leads characters and Deadpool is exactly that um when it comes to the cast like I said Ryan Reynolds is perfect uh I think Ed Screen playing Ajax the main villain of the film is surprisingly perfect as well I was a little unsure of him uh, because his transporter movie didn't do well he played a weird character in Game of Thrones uh but he was a great interview when I was on set and he he's perfect he, he he's exactly what I imagined when I read the early drafts of the script for this film um and Marina Baccarin as the love interest Vanessa she is excellent she's so supremely good uh, i've loved her ever since she debuted in joss whedon's firefly tv show and she was kick-ass in in um uh homefront no what's the name of that yeah what's the name of that show anyway she was in that for the first couple of seasons um incredible actress she's perfect for this i really hope that if they do a sequel which they will no doubt uh that she'll be back in a bigger role as well um and tj miller who's one of the funniest dudes working today he's in silicon valley uh, i think he got his big start in cloverfield that's the cameraman so he's got a very recognizable voice and he's a great stand-up comedian he is amazing as weasel who sent up kind of um, a supporting character slash sidekick with uh, deadpool incredible cast um, with the main four. However, the other supporting characters, Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who represent the connection between Deadpool and the X-Men franchise, mm, they were kind of the weaker parts of the film. Uh, Colossus, to their credit, like I said, he's massive and Russian, uh, but they had three actors playing him. They had a guy doing motion capture on set, they had a guy doing facial capture, and they had a Russian voice actor do the voice. And he comes off as like a little too cartoonish and childish, uh, and as a character, he's too soft. As a veteran battle-hardened X-Men character. He's a little too soft and goofy, and it didn't quite work. I hope they tweak that. Uh, I do want to see that character come back when they do more modern-day X-Men films, but he was sort of a weaker element. And uh, his apprentice, or, or um, trainee, working with him is Negasonic uh, Teenage Warhead, who's played by uh, Bran Hildebrand, um, um, Canadian dancer who we interviewed on set as well. Uh, and she does the action really well, um, and her costume looks great. It looks like a New Mutants uh, kind of costume I can see folding into the upcoming New Mutants film, which already has a director, but no release date. Uh, but her acting, you could tell she's not an experienced actor. She had never done a feature film before, and, and you could tell. Like, her barely any dialogue and her facial expressions just don't quite work uh, but she nails the, the few action bits she's, she's a part of too and the visual um, effects they apply to her power she can like blow shit up um, really really cool too and it works for the film um, now so this film is a, it's, it's I would define it as action comedy and it takes both of those to the absolute extremes uh, unlike any other superhero film today so that puts it at the top of, of those lists um but its story, it's an origin story, and it plays with time by using flashbacks to explain like uh, the origin story of how Wade Wilson got his powers and why he's on this mission of vengeance. And it kind of plays into the main two modern-day um, um, action set pieces of the film. That being said, it still is very formulaic, and it's okay. And it actually works for this film because they call out all of the problems or questions fans might have. So when you only see two X-Men characters over and over again, you're like, where, where are the rest of the X-Men? Uh, and they directly 
comment on that in the film. They can do that by one, just making fun of it uh, in the in the story itself and in, in the context of what's happening. But because Deadpool breaks the fourth wall, he the, can look at the camera and talk to the audience saying, look, the studio just doesn't have the budget to do this. And it's like, that's cool. We get it. And the timing of those jokes is so precise, it actually works. Every time you start to think, well, that's a little too convenient, they'll say it's convenient and, and call out call it out just like you would. Uh, so it's so perfect, that meta-level humor combined with this pushing the envelope uh, in its rating being like a hard, hard R. They were not kidding about that. Plus all the nudity and violence and the action. And the action is awesome. The sword play is great. The gunplay is really, really cool. Um, the, they, oh my God, it looks so good. The, the way they do the effects in the slow motion um, and, and combined with uh, Ryan Reynolds' voiceover, it's, it's exactly um, what it should be. So you can tell fans made this for fans. And I really, really got that impression. And that was my biggest takeaway when I was writing out my set visit report. You could tell director Tim Miller, uh, uh, Rhett Reese, and Paul Wernick, the writers who did Zombieland before this. And they they have a lot of big ideas for Deadpool 2, which I'm very excited to see. And even down to like the... Um, Sorry, the producer and the SFX guys and the production designers, all of them were like hardcore fans and super enthusiastic about this. Like everything you and I saw from like the crappy depiction of Deadpool and X-Men Origins Wolverine, they shook their heads at that as well. And they everything they wanted to do instead of that, now they're having a chance to do it. And Fox, to their credit, let them finally do it. Uh, again, this is why I started that hashtag, why not Deadpool, um, on the Screen Rant Underground podcast years ago. Every time Fox made a movie that made no money or was crappy, I'm like, why not Deadpool? Why not just throw a couple of million dollars, a $30, $40 million budget at Deadpool and make that? It will work. It's funnier, it's more attractive, and it can help the X-Men franchise, and it has. Uh, I was more excited for Deadpool than X-Men Apocalypse, and I will say Deadpool completely delivered. If you have any interest in this film, go see it next Friday. Uh, it's one worth watching. So until next time, like and subscribe. Cheers. Oh, and enjoy the big game.